Part 2 of Try Primitive Builder Demo, go and check it out on Steam right now, play it for yourself and today we're going to actually get our NPCs up, our first fishing hut, to gather resources for us, let's go. There we go, I survived, first day of Tribal Primitive Builder. Oh, it gives you, oh that's nice, build a little camp, it already gives you like a little construction storage box and stuff. I guess, yeah, there's no weight at the moment, that might be something they add in, maybe not. And you get a little crafting bench when you do it as well. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I'm going to make a spear. No, I'll wait until I go through the tutorial first. So there's a lot of upgrading weapons here. God damn. Enchanted knife, reinforced hammer, primal axe, enchanted axe, primal shovel. That is a lot of upgrades for the weapons. Bamboo totem and water skins. Right. I'm kind of regretting building so far away now from the rest of them. Oh no, there's a big fire or something. Oh, it was the storehouse, I think. Yes. Oh no. I could have took all this and just made life easier. But hey, we got we found some of the mechanics. That was good to really look and check. Okay. And be good to see, yeah, if we can build something like this as well, that'd be cool. Show what is building, yeah. It's done, yep, yeah, that's right. What you got for me? You've got a new workshop. Learn to catch fish, make spear, then throw fish dead that easy. Okay, accept. Okay, is there a crafting bench up here I can use? Or I've got to go miles down. Let's go and get my own. Can get food rations here in a minute. Can't sit on any of these. There's no crafting benches here. Right, I don't really want to walk all the way back over to my place, but I suppose I could. Oh, these guys are just like completely just wandering around doing their own thing. Right, here we go. Craft a spear. Oh, maybe I was meant to use it. I don't think L's currently working. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. Right, there's that. I don't know where that spear was. Maybe it's actually in the water here. No. Oh, I've got my own spear anyway. It doesn't matter, does it? Okay. So, hunt it with a spear. When you spot a fish, a seagull, or turkey, aim your spear and throw it to get a valuable resource. Oh, it's when I've thrown it. In case I lose it again, like, and go. Oh, did, it, did it get it? Do I swim? Give a man a fish and he'll he'll live for a day. Give a man tools and he'll probably spend about ten years trying to work out how to use them. Ah, right, I've got to go with the current maybe. I've got to follow the fish. Be maybe I'm scaring them because I'm in the water. They're, they're dying about. They're quite quick, mate. Fishing is hard. Maybe I'm meant to do it on the rock. Yeah, maybe like yeah, you don't want to be disturbing them in the water. Yeah, maybe they're going a bit slow now. Uh, Oh no, that one's a bit fast. This guy's a big guy. Yes! There we go, that was it. So yeah, disturbing if you in the water. Okay, we've got a fish, nice. Might as well get another one. Oh, I swear I've got one. Actually, I'm going to die of hunger soon if I don't hurry up and get back. Fuck oh, God. Yo, I got a fish. I did. First cook and then eat. Oh, what's happened here? It's a big volcano. I've got to get a sacrifice going, right. Burn incense at altar, okay. Rituals at the altar to unlock access to blueprints for new buildings. Ah, oh, I kind of like that. I like the idea that, yeah, that's doing it one. Okay, let's uh, cook this fish up first though. I have two bits of meat, that's giving me a nice fill up. Okay, find entrance to the cave. Okay, so there's no stamina in the game. Not yet, anyway. It doesn't seem to be making me more sleepy. Of course, a bit of a journey to get back over here, though. Choose the ritual, press zero. Place the incense on the altar. Wait for the ritual to complete. Oh, here we go. It's a bit more dark and moody, mysterious. All these idols and chisel. Hello. Right. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we'll do... Um, We'll do pickaxe first, actually. Yeah. Can we do pickaxe? No, axe first, apparently. Right, press zero. There we go. Incense is on. Whoa! There we go. It's flamed up. Oh, hello. This is cool. Oh, I like this, yeah. I don't necessarily need the big voice booming telling me... Just give me some nice visuals and some good music, maybe, to go alongside it. That's all you need. 
Oh, it'd be cool. So if you could build ships to go to other islands and stuff. Full the Elder, about your vision. Right, okay, let's go. Oh, it is a bit long going over here and back and forth. Feels like it's padding out a little bit. I'm hoping it means we have to use all this land. Like we will actually need all this space if you do want to build like a giant massive village and stuff. Not too sure how much, like there's got to be some sort of element of danger, right? Or is this just a tutorial stage? Maybe it's turned it off, but you know, fighting a few creatures and stuff would be good. All right, here we go. I had a vision, mate. Yeah, everything was blown up. There you go. First ritual done. Just need a big boat. Right. Need big food, big sacrifice, big butts. I cannot lie. They make hut for the fishermen. Right. Choose which procedure perform ritual food rations, craft incense, craft talisman. Okay. The cost of advanced rituals and special huts is high. Make your tribesmen work for you to collect resources and let you focus on management. Deliver tools to the occupied huts. Provide food to the village storage. Press T to open the tribe's summary. Right, this is where the management side of it comes in. Okay, this is cool. This is what I think is going to sell this game. It's something pretty different and unique. I'm pretty sure, I can't remember if like Medieval Dynasty, I'm sure you can get a wife and stuff, but I don't know if, I can't remember if they actually go and do stuff for you, really. We're not doing anything with that just yet. No, apparently not. Yeah, we can. Oh, nearly, nearly. Uh, oh, no, you can take damage. Full damage there is. I think it's down this way, but I've got to drop. Let me see if I can get down. In fact, dying. Oh, it's just back to this place. Right, okay. I've got to be food rations. I don't think I've got any on me. Danger, arrows, food rations. There we go. Perform ritual food rations. We need more incense and we need talisman. Okay. Right. Yeah, there's got to be a crafting bench here. No? Is there nowhere for me to just craft and use? Ah, this kind of seems a bit stupid if there isn't. Alright, maybe if I go out this way, I can find a way out back out to my place. And these rocks are a little bit funky looking. I feel like I'm veering off into like the wrong area, but I just kind of want to explore a little bit. We'll just go, we'll take a little look and just see what's about. Okay, it's a big glade, it's a big path. Is it actually going to go somewhere or I'm going to hit an invisible wall? Oh, you could go right to the beach. Oh, okay, that's cool. So it's a massive world then. There is a map. I didn't even think to look at the map. Okay, that's pretty big. Look at that. Coves and more. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's that's where that's my workshop. That's the cave. And that's the altar one. Okay, yeah, oh look, we've got seagulls. I can maybe catch some, and this will help us get our food, so we don't have to just do fishing, can we? Yes, yeah, have a look. Without scaring them off. Line it up. Oh, really? Yes. There we go. Yeah, I would say, like, I'm not a big fan of everything has to have like an animation where you you know you're gutting and doing stuff but it kind of is the norm in a lot of survival games it doesn't have to be like 20 seconds like it is in red dead but i think yeah it'd be good to see some of that site kind of thing you know plucking the feathers from a bird and stuff like that yeah pitch not bad it's all right so maybe these talismans are what you use to um get the control of the other guys and we're gonna have a guess and say maybe oh here we go there's one of them. There's two of me. Hello? Still working on it? Yeah, I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working here. Uh, right, yeah. Preparation. Here we go. So let's craft as many as we can. Cool. That's them three then. Is that just a quick way down to the, the cave that I just wasn't seeing before? I think it is. So I'm meant to do something down here. I'm meant to like drop some stuff off, I'm sure. Right, I'm going to head back to my hut. Alright, let's make this incense. Ah, oh, I need herbs. Our oh, talisman, let's craft three of them. I need three of them anyway. Okay, let's done that. Craft incense. Perform ritual food rations, yeah. Uh, where can I go and get quick herbs? I just wonder if like, there's any little farms down here that might have some. 
Yeah, it's not the most best signposted thing looking for some of this stuff while I'm just running around. Now, I know I've got a map, but uh, yeah, there's a few things up there on the little compass there that I'm just noticing for the first time. Okay, but we had a huge area. Yeah, it definitely needs, this needs to have some sort of danger element, just something. Okay, so on the other side of the river, right, okay. Oh, here we go, we've got some herbs here. That's what I wanted, some of them. So there are some wild grain. I was going to go back to the, the actual place where we had all the rest of the guys there. Right, incense. Oh, perfect, added just enough. Oh, nice. That's it, and now we'll do the, uh, oh, the fishers. Right, that was unlocking the fisherman's hut. Okay, let's go back and do that now then. Right, so, Hunter's Hut, Fisherman's Hut, here we go. Can you just put it down anywhere you want? Pretty much. Boom. Oh boy, I've got to build it all, have I? Well, I've got the grasses, that's okay, we'll do that now. Yeah, that one. Next up, more, more bamboos. Oh, there's like lava biomes just there as well. That's pretty interesting. Oh, so maybe like another offering place? Yeah, it could be cool running around these areas if there was some smaller nooks and crannies or little things to find in caves. Tiny little previous shelters and stuff. Give you a bit more loot. Here we go. Also, get some of these again. I'm sure we'll need a ton of them. Craft a bamboo totem. There we go. There's ten of them. Yeah, one of them. Is there nowhere to cook the food? Have I lost something or forgot something? You're starving. Yes, I'm right. I've got, a, I've got food. I just need to find somewhere to cook it. And apparently, you've got no more flames. Right, where's the big flame? There we go, big flames over there. Right, food rations. Craft, craft, craft. Here we go. Beautiful. Oof, okay, just about had enough there. Right, let's hopefully we've got enough resources now to finish my um my fisherman's hut. Oh, I'm knackered again. All these yellow leaves. It's a good thing I was gathering all this as I was running around. Oh, we have run out of the yellow grass. Yeah, we did it. Craft bamboo totem. Yeah, I've done that. And... Yeah. And where's the, the bamboo totem? Is that it? I've crafted the bamboo totem. I've got it. I had it in my inventory. Oh, here we go. Hey, we did it. Okay, right. I'll go for a sleep again. And I'm going to go ahead and eat one of them rations. I have to craft another one. Right, so we're awake. Now, hopefully, since I've crafted the fishing heart, does that mean um, I can pick up some fish easily? See, I presume it's to yeah, capture fish pretty quickly. Like I said, maybe, yeah, it's about being top down. You can do it easier. Oh, these guys are like tantalizingly just out of reach. Oh, did I not get that then? I think I picked a bad spot for this fishing hut. I ain't gonna lie. Should put it a bit more in the uh, deeper parts. Yes! Okay. Let's get another piece because I've got a feeling. Man, it's super tough. My aim sucks, apparently. Ah, oh, come on, I hit that then. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's one more. Alright, let's go and get this food prepped. Oh no, don't do it here. We need to do it at the flames again. Right, Eldar did all that. Fisherman's hut is done. Put food rations inside the tribe's storage cave. At least five. Oh god, it's got to do it again. I'm going to go and hunt seagulls. I swear, it's just quicker than... Killing the fish. I want these guys to help me. Uh, maybe I can get one of them to 
They come with fishmen. It's got to be way. I think I've not been doing something. There we go. Oh, okay, maybe not. That's it. I've got to give the necessary tools. This is what I was meant to do. So I've got to put the food in the warehouse first. Okay. Ah, did that not hit? Right, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. There we go. There's one. No. Catching fish is just like the worst. Where's all the turkeys? Where's the turkeys at? Right, I've finally done it. I think I've got about nine rushes now. I might have even had nine fish anyway, I didn't realise. I'm guessing the spears and weapons obviously get a bit better as you get deeper into the game and craft to unlock new ones. Right, here we go. Here's the pantry. Here's your seven fish. That tutorial could do with not being so big on the screen. Maybe just a little bit or more right in the top corner. Here we go. So I'll just put the spear in there. Switch production. There we go. Now I can put a worker on. Nice, nice, nice. In fact, you can put a couple. And you get penalties based on whether or not they're close or far. You get totem bonuses. Okay. Okay, let's put two on it. Let's do it. And there we go. We've got them working. Maybe a little bit. Alright. In the morning, I'm sure. A hey, Yoda. Got the tools. Yeah, am I done? We good? So now I've got to talk to the scout and then I can find others. And you know what? I think you kind of get the idea. That's where we are at the moment with this game. You know what? It's, it's got some real good promise. It's pretty simplistic, like the UI, the, the mission structure. It's, you know, keep everyone fed and then obviously they'll, they'll get you resources and stuff. That makes sense. Map is a bit large, but like with the full game and everything else that you'll be able to craft in it, I'm sure you probably need as much space as possible. To make it really feel lived in and stuff. So hopefully there's more decorations and stuff you'll be able to put in and around. And just, yeah, it just needs a tiny bit of danger. I don't know if I want to spend all day fighting boars and stuff like that. But just something running around these zones or these areas. Just make it a little bit more interesting. But yeah, let me know what you think. And I'll see you at back for some more very soon.